For the wings, we're going to start on the right wing of the butterfly. And I know it looks like the left wing as you face it, but when you put the butterfly on top, this will be the butterfly's right wing. So we're gonna start on the right wing, work from the inside of this circle out, and then make the bottom section. Then we're gonna make the left wing and in the end, we're going to make the edging to go around the entire butterfly wing, putting both of the wings together without sewing. So let's get started. We're gonna first get the color we want for the inside circle of the wing. And for this one, I am going to um, pick a different color now. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this beautiful spring green. You're going to start off with a magic ring and in the magic ring, you're going to chain three. And this is going to count as the first double crochet for the um, stitch count at the end. So here, I'm gonna chain one, two, three. And now I'm going to insert 11 double crochets into the ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. When you finish with inserting 11 double crochets, you're going to go ahead and pull your ring tight, cinching up your magic ring, like so, and take the, um, go to the first or the top of the chain three, and you're going to insert a slip stitch to join, like so. All right, and now we're going to switch over to the next part. Um, for step two here, we're going to get some white yarn. You can choose a different color if you wish, but I'm gonna use white yarn for the inside. And um, if you would like a more seamless color change, what you can do is pull through that slip stitch using white yarn instead. So I'm going to try that now. All right, and with your white yarn, you are going to start off with a single chain. Oops. This chain is going to count as your first single crochet, and you're going to insert a single crochet into the same stitch here. And as you notice, I'm just going to pull my yarn ends in as I work along. That way I don't have to weave them in later. They're naturally crocheted into my stitches here. So after this first part, I'm going to do a half double crochet increase in the next stitch. And what that means is to insert two half double crochets into the same stitch. So in this next stitch, I'm going to put in one half double crochet and two half double crochets. There we go. And in the next stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet and a double crochet. So one half double crochet and one double crochet. like so. Next, you're going to insert a double crochet increase. So that means put two double crochets in the same stitch. At this point, I've um, crocheted the yarn tails in enough. So I'm going to go ahead and snip them off here so they're not in my way as I work. Okay. Now we're going to insert a triple crochet into the next stitch. A triple crochet um, is where you're going to yarn over twice 
insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, go through the first two loops, yarn over, go through the next two, and yarn over, going over the last two. So let's do that again, because we're doing a triple crochet increase here. Here's our second triple crochet. And there you have it. Now in this next stitch, what you're gonna do is a triple crochet, chain two, and a triple crochet all in the same stitch. So let's start off with the triple crochet. Then you're gonna chain two. And then you're going to insert a triple crochet again. As you see, I'm doing this all in the same stitch. And in the next stitch, you're going to do a triple crochet increase. So insert two triple crochets there. Then you're going to do a double crochet and a half double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet and a half double crochet. Oops. Then you're going to do a half double crochet and a single crochet in that next stitch. And then you're going to just do single crochet increases for the next three stitches. So that's going to be one. Oops. One increase here, second increase, and third increase. And at the very end, you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain one that you made at the start of the round, like so. As you see, you now have this um, kind of like teardrop shape for your butterfly's wing. All right, we're going to keep working along. For step three here, we're going to turn our piece so that we're working in the other direction. We're going to insert a single crochet into the same stitch that we were working on. A little fiddly here because we just turned and it's kind of in the way. Okay, there we go. Single crochet in that same stitch. Then you're going to single crochet five. So in the next five stitches, just do single crochets. That's one, two, three, four, and five. After that, you're going to chain one, turn your piece, and increase or do a single crochet increase in the very first stitch. So let's insert two single crochets in that first stitch. And um, your next job is going to switch to the second color. And that's going to be the small window of color on the bottom of the wing. I'm going to choose yellow for this um, particular wing. And let me back up a little bit here to do a seamless color change. So finishing off that single crochet with the new color. All right, and now with this new color, you're going to go ahead and single crochet four across. That's going to be one, two, three, and four. And in the next stitch, you're going to single crochet using white. I'm going to again pull through with white so that the color change is seamless. And here's my single crochet at the end. All right. 
Now that you've got that done, you're going to go ahead and turn your piece again. Uh, chain one, turn. And then you're going to single crochet in the same stitch. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up the yellow again. We're going to keep using yellow here. Pull through. So you're going to single crochet four, the next four in yellow. So that's one, two, three, and four over here. Oops. You know what? My apologies. I did not do that right because I needed to keep my white yarn tail um, along. Okay. So single crochet four with the white while you're with the yellow, excuse me, while you're single crocheting with the yellow, make sure you have the white yarn tail following you. This way you don't have to um, cut your yarn and reattach it. So here, single crochet four with the yellow, switch to the white. And we're going to finish off this part with two single crochets in white. One and two in that last stitch. Oops. Okay. Now you're going to um, chain one and turn your piece again. Now you're going to um, go ahead and single crochet in the same stitch. And you're going to insert a half double crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch. So here's the half double crochet. And here's the double crochet. Um, by the way, I should fasten off the yellow soon. I'm going to carry the yellow along for a few stitches before I cut it off. All right. So for this next part, um, you're going to double crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to half double crochet and, um, excuse me, just half double crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to single crochet three across. So that's one, two, And three is going to be the very last stitch in this row. There we go. So that's that for the inside wing part. I'm going to cut off the yellow, um, which I don't need anymore. All right. Now what you'll do is you're going to turn your piece and single crochet along this edge of the wing. This is the center. And you can tell because um, for the wing you've got the outer part poking out here. That's going to make the rounded um, shape of the wing to the side here. So we're gonna single crochet along the middle down this way. So I'm turning my piece. And now I'm going to single crochet along this edge. So that's going to be um, seven single crochets total here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
Now you're going to chain one and turn your piece. We're working back the other way. You're going to insert um, a single crochet in that very first stitch, the same stitch, then single crochet seven, excuse me, single crochet six across. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And there you have it. That is the first um, wing complete. That's the right side of the wing. You're going to fasten off with a long tail for this one because you're going to use this um, tail to sew it to the um, middle or the center part of the left wing. And then we're gonna do our edging around. So in the end, we'll weave in all the yarn ends too. All right, we'll meet back for the left wing. Now that you've got your first wing done, we're going to create a second wing with matching colors. So I'm going to start off with um, the center circle and I'm using the same green yarn that I used for the first wing here. So in, um, you're going to start off with a magic ring and in the magic ring you're going to chain three. This will count as the first double crochet. So that's one, two, three, and you're going to insert 11 double crochets into the magic ring. Alright, so after you crochet the 11 double crochets, you're going to pull your ring tight to cinch up your magic circle or your magic ring here. And then you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three that you made. Here's the starting chain three and I'm just going to insert my hook join for a slip stitch. Then, um, oh by the way, I forgot to say since we're changing colors, we're going to join with, um, pull through the slip stitch with white. So I'm switching colors to white for this next part here. Let's go ahead and pull through with the new color. There we go. Alright, and with this new color, you're going to chain one to start. And then you're going to insert a single crochet in the same stitch here. Next, you're going to um, increase, single crochet increase twice. So in the next stitch, that means we're gonna put two single crochets, one and two. And let me make sure I've got my ring pulled tightly here. All right. And I'm going to do my next increase. Two single crochets in the same stitch. There we go. Next, we're going to do a single crochet and a half double crochet together. So here, insert my hook, do my single crochet first, and then a half double crochet in the same stitch. At this point, I've dragged my yarn tail over enough, so I'm going to go ahead and snip that off. So I don't have to weave in those ends. All right, and in the next stitch, I'm going to do a half double crochet and a double crochet together. So here's my half double crochet, and here's my double crochet. Then I'm going to do two triple crochets, or a triple crochet increase, I mean. Both in the same stitch 
And after that, I'm going to do the, the triple crochet, chain two and triple crochet in the same stitch. So that's triple crochet, chain two and triple crochet in the same stitch. Next, I'm going to do tr a triple crochet increase. So two triple crochets here. All right. Now I'm going to do a double crochet increase. Two double crochets in the same stitch. Then a double crochet and a half double crochet in the same stitch. Double crochet, half double crochet. Then two half double crochets in the same stitch. A single crochet increase in the next stitch. The two single crochets. And lastly, you're going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet or the first chain here. There we go. And that's that for um, the second step of the wing. Now for this wing, we're actually going to do things a little differently. Instead of crocheting all the way um, into the next part, I'm going to fasten off here. Then what you're going to do is to take a look at your wing. Oops, sorry for the wind there. Uh, we're going to look at them right side up, so make sure you have both right sides facing up. You'll see that this gap, the chain 2 gap, should be on the, or facing the side here, pointing out. That's where it'll go. And you're going to count eight stitches from the chain two gap of the wing going downwards. So from here, I'm going to count eight stitches down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in the ninth stitch, this one here that I've marked, that's where we're going to um, attach white yarn. So here, I'm going to go ahead and pull yarn through like so all right and then what you'll do is um, we're gonna be working on the back side here we're gonna keep going um, kind of down excuse me down in this direction, work in the same direction of your count. So I'm going to chain one to start, and then I'm going to single crochet in the same stitch, and then single crochet five. That's one, two, three, Four, and five in the next stitch here. All right. After that, we're going to chain one and turn your piece. So I'm going to chain one here. And now I'm going to turn so that I'm working in the other direction. Okay. Um, you're going to go ahead and um, single crochet increase into this stitch. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, actually, my apologies, not an increase. You're just going to single crochet in the same stitch. I read that wrong. <laughs> 
All right, and before I finish pulling off my single crochet here, I'm going to attach the new color for um, the bottom part of my wing. Like so. Now I'm going to single crochet four across and I'm going to carry my white yarn tail with me as I single crochet four across. When you get to the fourth single crochet, you're going to finish off with the white yarn because we're switching to white now and you're going to increase in the last stitch. So here I'm putting two single crochets in the same stitch. All right. Now we're going to chain one, turn our piece, insert a single crochet into the very first um, stitch, insert a single crochet into the next stitch, Finish off with yellow though, because we're going to switch to yellow. Drag your white yarn tail across. We're going to single crochet four using the yellow yarn. That's one, two, three, and four. And then you're going to insert a single crochet in the next stitch in white. All right. And then uh, we're going to move on to the next part, which is to chain one, turn, and you're going to um, actually let me pull the yellow yarn up here. I'm going to carry the yellow yarn a little bit so I don't have to weave in the ends. I'm just going to crochet it into the, um, crochet this yellow into my white stitches here. All right. So what you'll do is, um, put, um, do three single crochets to start for this round, for this row, excuse me. So in that very first stitch here, I'm going to single crochet. And then do two more single crochets. All right. And then you're going to do a single crochet. Excuse me, not a single crochet. You're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. So here's a half double. Then it's going to be a double crochet. Then you're going to do a double crochet and a half double crochet in the same stitch. And last, you're going to do a single crochet in the very last stitch. And there you have it. You're going to fasten off. You don't need a long yarn tail for this one, but long enough so that your piece does not unravel. Let me just cut off all the loose tails here. Here is the left wing. As you can see, you've got um, that butterfly wing shape going on that will match your first wing that you've made. All right, and we're gonna meet back to join them together.